Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of multiplying 3-digit and 2-digit numbers. This is standard 5.3b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 13 of the Redesign Practice Online Star Test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So a shop ordered 362 candles for $15 each. What is the total cost of candles? So seems like it's a pretty straightforward problem. Let me open up our graph draw feature here. All right, so I've got 362 candles. So uh, if I wanted to draw a, a part, part, whole, or strip diagram, it would be kind of crazy, right? Because I'm looking for my total, right? So your total always kind of goes to the top. That's my unknown. And I've got sets of 15, right? Each candle is 15 bucks. How many sets do I have? I have 362. So if I were to draw 362 little spaces, right? And I don't have room for that. So 362, every single one of those is 15 bucks. That's what we're looking at there. So I could do repeated addition of 15, 362 times. Another way to do it would be multiplication. So let's set this up, uh, since we're dealing with equal groups here, let's set this up as 362 times 15. Now, we've been doing multiplication in third, in, uh, third grade. We really started focusing on our multiplication facts um, and in two by one. And then in fourth grade, we moved up to two by two and even three by one. But now in fifth grade, we're picking up three by two multiplication. So. Uh, and even four by one multiplication, but we're really looking at three by two here. So I'm going to set this up two different ways. One is going to be what we call the standard algorithm, which is probably if you uh, ask your parents, this is what they would consider the normal way to multiply. It's how they were taught. You are also taught this, but you're also taught some other ways that work. So I'm going to also show, show you partial products and I'll do them side by side just so you can see how they both work. So partial products is just a different way of doing it. It might not be the fastest because you have to do quite a bit of adding at the end, but it works. So standard algorithm, what we do here is we start with this five and we're just gonna multiply by the two and then the six and then the three, okay? And we can only write one digit at a time. So we're gonna carry if it's, it goes in the tens place. So I'll show you this first row right here. So five times two is 10, we can only write one digit at a time, so we carry that one over here, and then we go five times six is 30, and then we carry that, add that one, so it's 31. So you have to multiply, then add, but now I've got to carry the three, because I can only write one digit at a time. Five times three is 15, add that three is 18, now we're good this first row. Now watch what it looks like on partial products. What I'm going to do is I'm going to really break this number into place value, and multiply that five, by each place value. So five times two is 10. I'm gonna just draw them on their own rows. Five times 60, well, five times six is 30. So add that zero is gonna be 300. I'm gonna make sure we line everything up. Five times 300, well, five times three is 15. And then, so add the two extra zeros, I've got 1500. Now guess what? If I add up my 1500 plus 300 plus 10, guess what I get? I get 1810. All the standard algorithm does is it kind of does adding for us. So let's do that second row. Let me switch to blue here. So now I need to add a zero on the second row. And then I'm going to just start with this one. And I'm going to multiply one times two, one times six, one times three. I always go right to left. And since it's times one, let's just write down 362, right? That's not that hard. And then you add. So on this one, you're going to still multiply um, the 300 times the 60 times two, but you have to realize that this is a 10. This is not a, a 1, it's a 10 plus 5. So 10 times 2 is going to be 20. 10 times 60, well 1 times 6 is 6, and then add two zeros, 600, and then 10 times 300, well that's just an extra zero, that's 3,000. So guess what, if I add my 3,000 plus 600 plus 20, I get that right there. So they both end the same way, just a lot more uh, adding to do on the back end if I don't use the standard algorithm, but I'm going to get 5,430. My answer is D.